Earlier, I shared some of the leaks about the upcoming update, and the official patch notes just went live, and it looks like most of the leaks were true. Let's take a deeper look into the patch notes together. I want to start with the most important change, which is about loss of control effects. In Battlegrounds and Rite of Exile, subsequent loss of control effects imposed by the same player within 6 seconds will have diminishing returns. Each subsequent effect will have 70% effectiveness compared to the last. For example, the first is 100% effective, the second is 70%, the third is 49%, the fourth is 34.3%. I think this should have been implemented in the game much earlier, and I'm happy to see this change. After this we have a change regarding summons. In Battleground and Rite of Exile damage dealt to summons by players has been decreased from 150% to 100%. This means players no longer deal increased damage to summons, which might make it possible to play with summoner builds in Battlegrounds. I will give it a shot when I go back to Necromancer. And as you can see we have bunch of class balance changes and I'm not going to read all of them in this video, we are going to talk about these tomorrow in a separate one. Now, we can jump right into feature updates. We have couple of updates regarding Heliquary, so let's check it out. In addition to the existing Raid Finder feature, we have added the ability for players to automatically matchmake into Heliquary raids. Sounds like a good option to have, and they added a blacksmith to the end of each Heliquary raid, which is perfect because sometimes we had to stop use the blacksmith, now it will be easier to manage. And the next one is about the exit portal. There were some cases where the exit portal was erroneously placed next to the loot after slaying a Heliquary boss, leading to players accidentally exiting the instance. We have relocated the exit portal to prevent this issue. Battleground Matchmaking Players are no longer able to allocate Paragon points during a Battleground match. Let's take a look at the developer's note as well. We have seen players fully revert their Paragon points prior to entering a Battleground match. And once the match began, they would spend those Paragon points on abilities that would turn the match in their team's favor. Then, after the match was completed, players would restore their Paragon points to what they originally were prior to the match. We want to ensure that Battleground remains fun for everyone, and have observed how this strategy interferes with that desire. I guess people were doing this to mess up the matchmaking, but now it is fixed. Familiar Optimization We've also refined certain aspects of familiars to ease the gameplay experience. Adjusted movement speed of familiars to improve their ability to collect loot faster. Optimized how familiars pick up items. The description for certain familiar passive skills has been altered to increase their clarity. Missed familiar contracts will now be sent to players via in-game mail. These are all really good changes, especially adjustments for the loot speed. Familiar menus. A suite of menu optimizations has been added to the familiar feature to equip players with increased information and to prevent accidental changes from being made to their familiars. By tapping or clicking the lock icon in a familiar's menu, players can lock their familiar. Locked familiars cannot be traded nor used for melding. Players can now show off their favorite familiars to other players in chat using the new linking feature. Choosing to do so allows other players to see some of your familiar's stats. Additionally, a double confirmation menu will now appear when you attempt to perform a familiar conversion to make sure it is not done by mistake. Battle points from familiar contracts. Adjusted the calculation of obtaining battle points from Niza's familiar contracts. This calculation accounts for battle points obtained from all gameplay. Juggernaut specialization skill. The Juggernaut skill, acquired from the Champion Paragon specialization in Inferno Difficulty 4, can no longer be used in Challenge of the Immortal. The description of this skill has been updated to state this. I think they should fix Warden Paragon Tree as well, but maybe that is fixed as well, I'm not sure. Player Health User Interface We've added a variety of user interface improvements to equip players with more information during PvP activities. Health bars are larger and more easily recognizable. Bonuses and decreases a player is experiencing, and their durations, will now be tracked. This change helps players more precisely track the status of incoming and outgoing crowd control effects during combat. This can be toggled in the settings menu. I'm really glad to see this. Finally, we are going to be able to see what effects we are under more clearly. Boss Damage Immunity User Interface Bosses who are immune to damage will have their health bars turn grey to better communicate their status. Shadow War Menu 
The Shadow War notification that appears 10 minutes before a match begins has been removed to prevent players from accidentally cancelling their involvement in the activity. Elder Rifts. The last 100 instances of Crest usage will now be displayed instead of the previous amount of 20. Well, that's all from this patch notes for now. I already talked about the new 2 star gem and the new battle pass cosmetics in a separate video so you can check that one out too. Other than that, if you want to see the dates of returning events, I will leave the link to the patch notes in the description so you can take a look. I think in general this update is looking pretty good, nothing crazy, but we have some great improvements. Let me know what do you think about the update in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for listening and take care.